Meow. Le Good morning, everyone, and welcome for another workout video with me. Um, we just finished our day three of our 30 day ab challenge, which is called the Get Shaped. And now we're gonna be doing the low impact cardio. Uh, we always gotta love some cardio now. We've done the slim down part one and it was easy. We got, you know, the, wow, my God, you scared me. We got used to it. And now it is time to do some maintenance. I call it maintenance. What do you want? Do you want to come out? Go on, go. Don't worry, she'll be back. If you do want to see her playing around with me, then check out the app workout and you're going to see that she went a bit crazy. We're playing around, jumping around, and now it is for us. Time to work out. Oh, I wish I had a hair tie. Because she ate my hair tie. Literally. I had to pull it out of her mouth. Hi, everyone. I'm Hollywood trainer Jeanette Jenkins, and welcome to Low Impact we're Cardio Sculpt. So we're going to be moving in intervals, doing Those cardio moves out. that elevate your heart rate, mixed well. with intervals of sculpting moves, which are strength exercises and light weights, okay? So low impact just means that we're not going to be jumping. So everything that we offer in this workout, you're gonna have both feet or one foot on the ground, okay? So enjoy yourself. You can get an incredibly great workout with low impact. Low impact does not mean it's easy. It just means that we're gonna put less impact on your joints, okay? I'm ready. So let's get started. Take your feet a little bit wider. Give me some nice deep breaths. Inhale up, exhale, inhale, big reach. Now when you exhale, come down nice and low into those legs. Sit back into a squat. And let's just start warming up through the glutes, the quads, big circles with the arms, oh. warming up through the lats. Give me four more big circles. Come on, get some range of motion. In and those she's legs. back tall. Back as low as you can go. Tall. Just she's gonna be One back. One more time. She and probably went to get those some arms more. overhead, warming up through the lats. I still want you coming down through the legs. We need to wait, Lala. We got eight more here. Just get that heart pumping. Get your body nice and warm. Now let's step from side to side. Reach and pull through the arms. Good. Nice big lateral steps. Get down low into those legs. Give me four more. Warming up through the quads, the glutes, the upper back. Crack. Good job. We're gonna start it on the ground. I want you to tip at your hips, walking out into your plank position. Oh, come on. Core oh, no, come is nice on. and tight. Lower all the way to the floor. Now, you're gonna start in the floor and you're gonna do a back extension. Reach through the arms and the legs. Notice that my eyes are looking down. So my neck is in line with my spine. We don't want this. We don't want you to jam into your neck. Imagine there's a string pulling the crown of your head and your neck is long and extended. Then reach through the arms and lift the entire upper body up. Reach through the legs and this is your back extension. Then hands under your shoulders, core is tight. Your body is super strong. The core of your body is strong as you push up into your plank, so we don't want a sloppy plank. We want a strong, stable plank where your core is tight, your glutes are tight, there's energy through your legs. Now let's put this together. Lower down, back extension, and push. Down, back extension, and push. Down, back extension and push keep that core tight 
Reach away into your back extension, also known as a Superman or Superwoman. Reach away, push it up. Let's go for five more. Back extension, reach, and core is tight, push up. Back extension, reach, and push. Three more, you got this. Push, two more, I'm with you. Push, last one, and push. Now front crawl, I'm just kidding, no front crawl. We're gonna do <laughs> swimming though. <laughs> Reach Seriously? Away. A little bit more for the back, extend, then little pumps through the arms and the legs, keep that core tight, breathe it out, working through the upper back muscles, the mid back, the glutes. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and child's pose. Push back, a little stretch it out. <sighs> Good. Now up into a downward facing dog. Walk your hands into your feet. Roll it up. We're gonna do a cross torso repeater knee. Let's get this heart pumping. Turn your foot open, arms long. Bring that knee up to your chest and let's repeat for 20. Breathe it out, one, two. Get that full range of motion, reach those arms. Now stay in your long and extended position. Reach the leg up into an abduction and bring the arm down. Keep that core tight. Go for 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, obliques, six, outer thigh, five, glutes, four, keep that core tight, three, two, and one. Beautiful, let's switch sides. Turn your foot open. Stack your hips, arms long, bring your knee up to your chest. 20, here we go. Good job, extend long, lift that leg up, breathe it out. Give me 10, nine, eight, keep the abs tight, seven as you lift that leg, six, lift it up, five, four, three, two, no. one more time. Good this, job. Oh my Five shoulders. lunges. You are going to step out with your right foot, push your hips back into that glute. Keep your chest up tall and then come back to where you started. Again, sit back and come back to where you started. Drive through the glute. Now when you stand up, I want you to try to lift that knee up if you can. And next level, make it a full front kick. Now if you want to, a little more challenge, oh. we're gonna grab the five pound dumbbells. Okay, so oh. you can do this with weight or without weight. So I'm gonna grab the fives, adding a bicep curl, and let's go for 15. Step it out, bicep curl as you go down, drive through the heel, lift the knee, and front kick. One. Two. Breathe it out. Three. You got this. Four. Remember, on these balancing exercises, if you lose your balance, it's okay. We are challenging you to work your proprioception, your nervous system. Some days your balance is better than others. That's totally normal. You just do the best you can. Ground your weight into the heel of the stabilizing foot or into the full foot and focus on a spot to help you balance. 
Engage your core. You got four more. Three. And remember, you always have the option to just step out and step in. You don't have to do the kick. It's up to you. One more time. Beautiful. Now let's switch sides. Let's do a few reps first with no weight, just so you get the setup. Step out, push the hips back, chest up, step together, right? Butt back, chest up. Sit back into that glute. Use your glute muscle to push up and lift that knee up. And if you can, make it a full front kick, okay? It's up to you. Grab your weights. Nice and controlled for 15. Here we go. Chest up tall. You're doing great. Sit those hips back, keep that chest up, engage your core. You got five more. Come on, push through. I know you feel those glutes. Two more, two more. Last one. Good job. The next move we're gonna do is alternating sumo squat. I'm gonna go up to the eight pounders, okay? Start with your feet slightly turned out, oh, sure. heels together. I'm gonna step out to the right first, come down into a sumo squat. I'm gonna try to get the elbows all the way down to my thighs, drive up, squeeze the glutes, and push overhead. Then switch to the other side. Sit back into those glutes and press it up. You got this. Engage that core when you come up. Yes, push up through those arms. You're like, how many are we gonna do, Jeanette? <laughs> She's not counting, this is dangerous. <laughs> we have 10 more. 10, yes. That's 10 each side, because I'm gonna be extra nice. No, I'm just kidding. Eight, come on, come on. Seven. Six, press it through. Five. Should have went with larger four, weight. Four. <sighs> three. Two. One more time. Good job. Now we're gonna go reverse lunge with double front punch. And since the lever's long and extended, I'm gonna use the three pounders. You can use fives but just be careful not to do too heavy on this one because your arms are extended in front of you. You don't wanna strain through your neck, okay? Step back with your right leg, drive through the heel of your front leg, lift your knee up and give me that beautiful front kick. Double front punch. One, we go 15, two, who said low impact was easy? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> so remember, you can get a great workout doing low impact moves. You don't have to jump. I don't know about you, but I'm sweating. Get a great workout. I shouldn't have turned on the air you condition. You just have to challenge the those muscles. Get complete range of motion. Add some resistance. And get deep into those muscles. Five more. 11. Oh 12. my God, my legs. Keep going. Oh, it's Whoa. 13, two more. 14, last one. Good work. Oh my legs. Now let's switch to the other leg. Chest up tall. Step back with the left foot. Lower down. Double front punch. Up and front kick. Core stays tight. One. Let's go for 15. You know what it is. Two. Sculpting through the shoulders, the triceps, 
the glutes, the core, oh my God. and working that nervous system, that proprioception on the body. Oh my God, guys, so I'm dropping. And of course, your heart rate, right? You feel that heart working. You are definitely getting that cardio element, benefit for your heart. Oh my God. You need five more. Oh I'm with you, I'm with you. Come on. Four more. Three. Two. Oh. One more time. Step it back. Good work. Oh. Okay. My legs are jelly. Let's go. Side to side steps. Whoa. With tricep kickbacks. 164. Because my arms are staying down low. I'm gonna go ahead and challenge myself back up to fives. Yes. And we're just gonna do a low step touch, low lateral steps with a tricep kickback. So I'm gonna turn this way so you can see. I'm just going side to side. Elbows are up and I'm pushing back into the back of those triceps. Press, press, get down low. Get down low. My spine is long, so no rounding in the back. I don't want to see that. Push your chest through. Long spine. Let's go 10, 9, low into those legs, 8, 7, 6, you got this, 5, time. Good job. Oh my God. Turn your feet open and let's add a plie squat with overhead triceps. So you can use both dumbbells or one. It's up to you. Arms are up, bend the elbows, come down and press up. Keep the back up tall, press up into those triceps. The back of those arms, squeeze the glutes at the top. Beautiful. Give me 10 more. Press it up. 10, 9, oh crap, I got so eight, on my eye. 7, good work. 6, keep pressing. 5, 4, oh, that bounce. 3, 2 oh, more. That. Last one. Now, no weights, and let's try our plie squat on our toes. This time, reaching overhead, and we'll go for 15. So come on down. Try to balance, abs tight, then press up, squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes, engage the core, nice and long. We got this. One, two, Three, keep it going. Four, abs are in tight. Five, I'm with you. Six, come on. Seven, eight, all the way to 15. Nine, 10, five more. 11, 12, beautiful. Oh, shake your 13, legs. two more. Last one. Good oh. job. Repeat her knee. Oh. Take that right leg back. Sit low, core is tight, arms long. Bring that knee straight up. Get nice and low in that front leg. And let's go for 25. Hup. One, two, three, four. Come on, five, six. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Low. This sweat Ten, just dropped 11, on the floor. 12. Five more, you're almost there. Four. Three, two, beautiful. Let's switch sides. Sit down low. So you're strong into that glute. Core is tight. Arms long. Pull the knee up and go. 25. One, two, three. You got this. Come on. I'm with you all the way. 13, 14. Good 
Good job. Now standing arabesque. Take the right leg straight back. Left arm in front. Lift the leg up off the floor. Little pulses into the glutes for 25. Long leg. Squeeze that buttocks. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Good. 18, 19, 25 more. Now same leg. Tip over into your stabilizing balancing stick. Tip over, hip hinge. Lift that leg up. So now the balancing leg glute is working for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch sides. Real sweat, kids. Switch to the other side. Okay, lift that leg up. Abs tight, opposite arm, little pulses. 25 little pulses. <sighs> 11, 12, keep going, I'm with you. 18, five more. Both sides are working, the stabilizer and the leg that's lifting. Okay, single leg deadlift, inhale. Exhale, we hip hinge, right? Long spine, lift the back leg, isometric into that glute, and hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. <sighs> Good job, guys. I want a stationary lunge with medial delts, okay? So for medial delts, I'm gonna lift fives, and let's step it forward with the right leg first, left leg back. Lowering down, medial delts is here. Coming up to shoulder height, 15. You ready? Let's do this together. One, core is tight. Two, notice my back leg. The foot is in line with my hip, okay? Yes, abs in tight. Five, six, this is it. Seven, just finish this off on each side. Eight, I'm with you, come on. Nine, 10, five more. 11, 12, 13, two more, two more. Last one. Okay, now switch sides. Fuck me dead. Course oh, time. Here we go, down up for 15. One, two, three. Four, five, keep it going. Six, seven, home stretch. Finish it off. Eight, nine, ten, five left. Let's do this. We're in this together. Two more. Last one. Good work. Put those weights down. Give yourself a hand. Please make sure you do one of our stretch workouts, or one of your stretches, because you deserve it. I'm super proud of you. You made it through our low impact cardio stall. 140. I will see you next way. time. Sweat, fudge me. Ah, my eye, here we go. Ah, sweat inside my eye hurts so much. Well, I'll see you guys oh, tomorrow. Have a good one. Go drink some protein. Have a great one, I can't even talk. Oh my God. Oh, see. oh I sweat all over my arm. Oh, I'm even dripping. Holy fudge. Oh, cow. Oh, fudge, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, fudge, bye.